Hello everyone, I am Deepa Kunyal and I welcome you to the series of Object Oriented Programming with C++. In previous tutorial, we discussed first C and C++ program along with the basic details of that program and some differences between them. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss first C++ program along with its major details like keywords and the working. So let us start now. Okay, so here is the first C++ program that I am going to discuss in depth. Before that, I want to correct my mistake that I have uh, done in previous lecture. So here, it's not print, it's printf. It was just a mistake, so please don't mind it. So now, you can see here is the first line, has include IO string. This is called preprocessor directive and every line that start with has is called preprocessor directive and this line is preprocessed by preprocessor before the compiler compiles the program and here in this case this line enables the program to take input from the user and output the and output on the console so this line is must in every program that inputs data from the keyboard or outputs data to the screen using c++ stream input and output right i would also like to tell you the book i am following for this lecture or series of lectures it is C++ how to program and you you can use I think 9th or 10th edition is going on right now which is latest so you can use that and writer or detail and detail so you can also follow this book another thing in program is comments so you can comment it here and this line will not be compiled or executed by the compiler right we discussed single line or multi line comment in previous lecture now coming to this main function this function is part of every C++ program even in C program we use this main function a program might consist of one or more function or classes we are going to discuss uh, classes or concepts of classes in coming lectures but uh, there should be exactly one function in, in every program that must be named main right and the program always starts executing from main function even if the main function is not the first function in a program in C or C++ we can also write main function like this by passing an argument void so this is exactly same to this function in C++ but in C there is a lot of difference between this and passing an argument void so what is the difference in C when you are writing main without any argument it's not about main it's about any other function like if you define a function like this so it means you can pass any number of argument to this function but when you are writing by passing void then passing even a single argument to this function will give an error so you need to keep this always in mind but in C++ it doesn't matter whether you write void or don't write void it will always give an error if you try to pass some argument right so now coming to this second thing stdc out this statement 
instructs compiler to print a string of characters that is written between these double quotes and this statement sends the stream of characters between double quote to the standard output stream object and this stdc out is uh, normally connected to the screen so whatever it sends is printed on the screen right so what is this std std is a namespace and when we start uh, using this in program we use uh, following statement using namespace std so if you start using this statement you don't need to write std c out or std endl you can directly write c out and this will work but it is recommended that you use such kind of statements because when you are using or when you are importing this statement you are actually importing a lot of things along with them so this uh, std is required when we use uh, names that we have brought into the program by preprocessor directive i use stream this one right so we need to use this uh, namespace at that moment look at these two statements this is using slash n and this is using std endl so both the statements will provide a new line after hello world but still there is some difference between using slash n or std endl and we are going to cover it now so see out endl is actually a stream manipulator while c out and if you write slash and double quotes it is just a character so there is some difference between them another difference this is a manipulator so this uh, does not take any space in memory and it is a character so it takes one byte of memory also endl this is a short form of end line so what it does it prints a new line and then flushes the stream so it is actually equivalent to c out slash n and then flush if we look performance wise then this is better than endl until and unless flushing is required right so i think this is enough for this lecture in next lecture we are going to discuss the c out and c in in more detail so till then thank you so much